Meanwhile, Mr. Anderson's mother, who is now staying at home in the United States, talks to one of her grandchildren, Mary. No, I don't like traveling. I prefer staying at home to traveling abroad. But wouldn't you like to visit a warmer country? No, I hate hot weather. And I can't stand foreign food. I like our food better than foreign food. Having seen and listened to Dialogue 1 of Unit 1, Module 1, now turn off the VCD player. Answer the questions. One. Now let's see and listen to Dialogue number 2 of Unit 1, Module 1. It is between Paula and John. Paula and John are talking about evening classes. They are now in campus. They are about to do some registration for the new semester. Let's see and listen to them. Is everything okay? Yeah, sure. Do you want to take an evening class with me at the community college? Maybe. What are they offering? Well, here's the course catalog. Take a look. Thank you. Hmm, they've got a lot of language classes. Chinese, German, and Japanese. Would you really learn national language or the European one? Um, actually, I think I'd rather take an art class. They have one on landscape photography and another on making videos. That sounds okay, but I think I'd prefer studying video to learning about photography. Oh wait, it says here that you need to provide your own video equipment. Oh, I'd rather not spend a lot of money. Let's see what else they are offering. Of course, you do understand what Paula and John talk about. To check it, answer the questions and do the tasks. See you in the presentation of Unit 2. Students, we now start to learn Unit 2, Module 1, Speaking 2. The topic is personal experiences in the past. In this unit, you will practice of how to ask about someone's experiences that happened in the past and to tell the personal and people's experiences that happened in the past. Let's begin with Record 1, Unit 2. Module 1 that consists of Dialogue 1 to 1. A good evening. Our program tonight is about disasters. This year there have been fires, plane crashes, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions. All our guests have survived from those disasters. Hi, I'm Bill Daniel. I live in Chicago. I was working in my office on the 28th floor of a skyscraper. I was dictating some letters to my secretary when the fire bell rang. I rushed out to the lift, but it wasn't working. The stairs were full of thick smoke. We couldn't go down, so we had to go up to the roof. When we got there, some people were waiting calmly. Others were shouting and screaming wildly. A helicopter managed to land on the roof and rescue six of us before the building collapsed. 